Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we have an overview, an unboxing and a few benchmarks for this OCZ Vertex 3 240 gigabyte SSD. First off, let's take a look at what you get when you purchase this drive. Uh, I have already opened this up so to perform a few benchmarks so you'll notice that some of the seals are broken. But uh, as the Vertex 3 moniker indicates, this is the third generation of OCZ's Vertex series. It uses uh, the Sandforce 2200 controller and it is one of the first SSDs out that uses that controller. Uh, what do you get in the box? You get uh, one of OCZ's little stickers that says my SSD is faster than your HDD. You also get a brief uh, warranty information here. They have also provided a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch SSD adapter so you can mount your SSD onto that and then mount this into a 3.5 inch drive bay in your computer if your computer doesn't if your case does not have 2.5 inch mounting brackets. Here is the SSD itself which I will show you in just a moment but lastly they have provided you with no fewer than eight mounting screws for the bracket, four to mount the drive to the bracket, four more to mount the bracket to your case. All right, so as mentioned, this uses the Sandforce SF2200 controller. Uh, maximum speed, uh, rated speed for this drive is up to, wait, let me double check to make sure I'm getting the right numbers here, up to 550 megabytes per second maximum reads, up to 520 megabytes per second maximum writes, and that's using ATTO benchmarking software. There's the drive itself, it has a nice shiny OCZ label there on that side. Sort of a matte black finish for the drive's casing. Uh, here on either side you can see actually some kind of shiny brush metal uh, where the drive, drive's mounting points are. On the back again more of that shiny brush metal and uh, the OCZ technology uh, drive information there. Here at the back we can see our serial ATA data and power connectors and this is compliant with serial ATA revision 3 which is 6 gigabits per second maximum throughput. So let's take a look at some of our benchmark results starting off with crystal disk mark we're using version 3.0.1 we're running a 1000 megabyte test and here up at the top you can see our graphs indicating uh, the benchmark results that we got thanks to both that Sandforce controller, the 25 nanometer NAND flash memory. Uh, we have sequential reads. Uh, this is average and we're hitting 486.5 megabytes per second there. For writes we're hitting 303. This is just insane performance for a single 2.5 inch SSD. Uh, 512K we got 412.5 megabytes per second and uh, almost the same as our sequential uh, 299. Uh, for 4K reads and writes, we can see 31.67 and 69.22 megabytes per second, respectively. And finally, for our 4K Q depth 32 tests, 185.7 megabytes per second and 251.9 megabytes per second reads and writes. Moving down here to the bottom, we can see where this drive's performance really tops out, and that is he down here with the Q depth 32 tests. This is input output operations per second. And this is a type of performance that you really can't even make use of in a standard desktop application. Uh, but this is really all you can do to max out this drive and see the performance overall. But 61,504.7 input output operations per second, and that's with random writes, 4K, QDEPTH 32. Next up on our test is ASSSD is a SSD benchmarking uh, utility and again we can see just the crazy performance of the Vertex 3 sequential uh, reads and writes 507.55 megabytes per second that is that I, I can't explain okay you guys probably know but that's really really <laughs> fast access time of 0 0.06 milliseconds for reads point 22 milliseconds for writes overall score of 739 Again, that's a really good score if you want to compare it to any other AS SSD tests that you might find out there. Uh, moving over here to input output operations per second uh, for our AS SSD test. And again, we can see hitting 50,000 IOPS, hitting 
just uh, just a hair under 59,000 IOPS uh, for our 64 threaded tests. So there you can see just the uh, amount of performance that you get. This is a premium drive, but you do get the performance to match. And that pretty much wraps it up for our overview and light benchmarking of the OCZ Vertex 3. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more product tours and tutorials, please subscribe to our Newegg YouTube channel. My name is Paul with Newegg TV. Thanks a lot for watching everyone and we will see you next time.